how do we get this child to be whole again to, from all the experiences that she's had that as an adult woman I haven't had nor do I want to have? How do we get her whole? Some of the biggest triumphs is to get, I mean challenges, is really to get people to understand the victimology of it. People have tend to they watch TV and they think they know how a person gets caught up in this, but I don't think they really realize it's like the tip of a glacier. You see this point and stuff and you think that it all, that's all it is, but what's underneath of that is all this layer of mass that has built up over time and no one just wakes up on their 18th birthday and decides to go out in the streets and become a prostitute. One in three girls are sexually abused in their lifetimes. Um, that's pretty amazing statistic, but what that also says to us who are in this movement is that it makes girls extremely vulnerable to being exploited. Uh, we know that a lot of young girls who are on the streets and available by phone um, in the marketplace, in the sex trade in Atlanta, uh, have been sexually abused at home. They've run away and they've often run into the arms of a pimp who mean them no good. The Juvenile Justice Fund, um, which is now Youth Spark, we were born back in 1999, right here in this very court, because the juvenile court judges were presiding over young girls who were basically being caught up in the juvenile justice system and treated as criminals. We were born so that we were able to advocate on behalf of those girls, and we opened the first safe house, not just in the southeast region, I mean, not just in Georgia, but the first safe house in the southeast region called Angela's House. You know, there has to be a way to get her whole again, and that is putting appropriate things in place and having people understand what has to be in place. You can't just take a building and house these babies. They have to have a lot of different services and programs in place. Hey, Wellspring Living serves young girls ages 12 to 17 who have been victims of childhood sexual exploitation. And uh, we received the girls through a state agency called the Georgia Care Connection. And for the last three and a half years, we serve girls in a residential setting by uh, partnering with a fully licensed child care facility. And our organization comes in and does a personalized education for the girls, as well as an individual treatment plan therapeutically. If it's important to this society, then you're gonna make this a line item in the Department of Human Resources so these kids can get the types of group homes and sheltering and services and uh, medical and physical help that they need. If it's a priority to you, if it's a priority to your city, you're gonna do what's necessary to save children's lives.